Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Now you have created human.java, right? Yes. And this human.java is the class human. Yes. Now Calibrasis is the scope of the class started. Then Calibrasis in line 10, scope ends. Okay. In between these two Calibrasis, we have main method, right? Yes. And this main method has also Two calibrases, opening calibrases and closing calibrases. Okay. And these two calibrases indicates that it has also scope. Main method scope starts here. Okay. Starts here. And scope of this main method ends here. You understand? Yes. Now, whatever we type inside main method, this is the scope of the main method. Okay. And whatever we type here, this is the scope of the class. And even if we type here, it is within the scope of the class because the class scope ends here. This is yeah. the class scope. You understand me? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Now, every object, actually in front of us, whatever we can see in front of us, in the back, on the right, on the left, whatever we can see, everything is object, right? Yes. Okay. And Every object has its blueprints, right? Yes. Before they were created, they had to design first. Design is the blueprint. And from the design, the object were made. Okay? Okay. So class is the blueprint. Class is nothing but blueprint clear yes and from this blueprint from class meaning from blueprints object is created meaning from a class we can create unlimited objects, okay? From one class, we can create unlimited objects, clear? Now, every object has two characters. One is states and another one is behavior, behaviors. And states are called properties, attributes, or it can be also called fields, okay? And behaviors are called methods that can be action, actions and functions in java we call them methods so behaviors are methods to do something okay meaning okay. it is actually ability to do something of the object okay states okay. are properties whatever it has okay say so for a human
from human class, we can create n number object, n number human beings, okay? And the human beings can have two characters. One is state, another one is behavior. Now, what are the states? States are the properties, whatever the object can have. Say, for example, a human beings can have name, he or she can have age, he or she can have designation, he or she can have salary, and so on. Okay? Now, in programming language, in the previous classes, we have seen also variables, right? So this name is variable. Say, for example, inside the name, we can store any data, okay? Say, for example, we can store Ignatius. Ignatius. Now, what type of data it is? Can you tell me? Is it number or string? Ignatius, number or string? It is string. If it is string, we have to put it inside inverted comma right yes we are storing ignatius inside a variable variable is a container or box where we can store data and whenever we need it we can access it we can open it we can use it okay yes. now what type of data it is String, right? String data, yes. String data. Now, we say name is a variable. Inside the name, we store Ignatius. And this type of data is string. So you have to tell that it is a data. Ignatius is a data. And it is string data. Okay? Okay. So how you create variable? Before you create variable, you have to tell type of the data. It is string, okay? Then write variable's name, then equal sign, then we put the data. Whatever, we store it inside this variable. You understand me? Yeah, yeah. Right. No, this string data can be static and non-static. What is static? Static is nothing but it is just a keyword. I type static here. Multiple makers markers at this line static cannot be resolved type. Okay, hmm. static error token, static expected. Okay, so it says it cannot be expected. Why it is saying it? Syntax error token, static. Static is expected. Static. I think there's no C. Oh, yes. Yeah. Static. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Good catch. Okay, so it is when I put static keyword, these data types all become static. Okay, now let me explain what is static and what is non static. When we don't have static keyword, okay, this is non-static, okay? Now, when okay. I type static, 
it becomes static okay now look we are learning today the concept of static actually right it is new okay. to us you see public static void mail it has static keyword but it didn't have static keyword but now we are saying it is static okay. when what? when we say static this static is directly related to human class okay it is directly related to human class and it is direct instance of human class so when we have static i can print it directly from here system dot out dot print ln i can say name right here it is hang or not working why i just paste here oh I copy this name, copy and paste here. Actually, I cannot paste here. Okay. Um, now, this name is this name, right? What is name? Name is variable. This is variable, right? And inside name, what we stored what did we store ignatius right so when i print my keywords are not, keyboard is not working okay Ignatius. Okay. When I will print name, what I will see? Ignatius. Ignatius. Wonderful. This is the concept. If you just understand it, more than enough to work with automation. Okay. So we print it and Ignatius get printed. We didn't print Ignatius. We print name, right? Yeah, and, right. And inside name, we get printed Ignatius. And we can make it presentable. Uh, I can say my name is name. My name is name. Meaning my name is Ignatius, right? Can you understand this logic? Yeah, I'm following, I'm following you, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Now, I put inverted comma. My name is. Because this is strings, right? Mm -hmm. These are not variable. This is variable. We don't put inverted comma for variable we put inverted comma for string okay. okay fantastic very little concept but it is very important to understand now what are you expecting to be printed my name is Ignatius exactly my name is Ignatius. No, one thing. No, try to go a little back. Yesterday, to access these variables, 
from class, okay, from this class to access this variable, okay, we used to create object, right? First we create object, then we could access it, we could print it. But today we are being able to access it without creating object. Did you notice it? Why? The question is why? Why? Because we are using static QI. Okay? Okay. Now, if you remove it, you see there is red mark. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Now, if you run it, run it. Oh. oh my gosh, it's saying. Error exists in record projects. If you force it, it says error. It says, look, exception in the trade main, java.language.error, unresolved compilation problem cannot make a static reference to the non-static field. What does it mean? It means this is static, main method is static, but this is non-static. Yes, right. Yes. And when it is non-static, you cannot access the properties of any class directly. To access it, you have to create object, right? But if the property is static, you see, now error gone. You can access it directly without creating object. Is the concept clear? Static keyword is directly related to human. human class, directly related to class. And when you put static keyword, it has special power. Okay? Special power. By its special power, it can access without creating object. Okay? Again, okay. if you remove the special power, okay, you see, now you cannot access it anymore. Okay, if you want to access it, then you have to create object for the class. What is the class here? Human. And you just say human one, okay, and new human you create object first this is new object created from human class we know the class is human okay we created object from human class and new object is new human and we put it inside human one this is reference variable referring to new object, okay? Uh -huh. And to access E, access the name variable or the whole properties, you have to use the reference variable in front of name variable, okay? human one then dot okay you see when i put dot i can see now name here so i can access it right yeah. what about that name? Yes. Okay. 
here. Your name is here. Okay. okay. There is no error means we can access it now. Yeah. So when we don't have static keyword to access it, we have to create new object. But if you put here static again, there is error mark again. Error, error, yeah, okay. Because if you have static, you don't need to create this object. I don't need it. I don't need it. directly I can access it. Now the concept is you can access static properties and static behavior method without creating object, without creating this object. But if there is no static keyword, you have to create this object and you have to access it with the reference variable. Is the concept clear? Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh. Fantastic. Now, your concept is clear. Okay, say for example, now you know what is behavior, right? Behavior are methods. Methods, yeah, action. Human can eat. Okay, eat. So this is method. Eat parenthesis. This is method. Okay. We call it method. This is name of the method. Okay. And okay. I can just say this is void. Void meanings that cannot return value. It method cannot return value, okay? It's not returning any value. Void. Uh, in the previous class, we said void keyword, but we didn't know what does it mean. Void meaning it cannot return any value, okay? It's not okay. returning any value. Okay, you don't need to know much about it right now. Later, we will turn it. I'm not going to teach everything together and make you confused okay i'll go little by little okay eat and i just say system dot out dot print ln okay and i just type here human loves eating just a statement now, is there static keyword? Is the no. is this static? No, because no. there is no static keyword. It will be static if I just say static. Now it is static. So whenever you see static in front of any matter. Always remember, it is static method. Okay. okay. If you don't see static keyword inside of it, then it is non-static method. All right? Okay. So static method. Now, I told you earlier, static method is directly connected to class. And it has special power. If you have static keyword you don't need to create object right yes. so this is static method do we need to use human reference variable to access it what do you think no, we don't. yes or no 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 because it is static okay static. you see I just power. yes special power. I just special type power. eat method. You see, I just call eat here with semicolon, and I run eat. Look, eat method is 
functioning. You see, human loves eating. So you can access eat method without the reference variable human one, right? Yeah. So you don't need to run this, you see? You don't need to create object. Without object, you can run it. Okay. You see? But yeah. if you remove it, if you remove static, now it is non-static method. This is we call non-static method. Now it is non-static method. You see? When I remove Static keyword, yeah. it's now saying error. error. Yeah. Error. Now you need to create object because it is non-static and use human one dot. You see? Mm -hmm. Run it. Human loves eating. You see? Again, yeah. just put here static. Now it's saying there is something wrong. Okay, meaning this is static. You don't need to create object. Okay. Yeah. It's saying you don't need to create object. Okay. Just take it out. It's working fine. You understand it? Yeah. yeah, I'm fine. yeah, I'm fine. yeah. Wonderful. That's more than enough. If you understand this concept, that's more than understand. That's more than uh, good enough to move forward. Okay, now let me tell you one more thing. Static keyword has special power. You understand it, right? Because when we have static keyword, we don't need to create object. Okay, but when you remove static keyword, you have to create object. To create object. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, listen very carefully. There are two types of methods. Um, there are mainly, I say mainly, two types of methods. What are these? One is inbuilt method, inbuilt methods. And another one is user defined methods. In built are also called built in. Okay. Built okay. in or in built methods. And another one is user defined methods. Now, can you tell me which one is inbuilt method here? You see, we have eat method, we have print ln method, and we have main method. Which one is inbuilt, meaning it comes with Java programming. We didn't create it. And user defined means it didn't come with Java programming. We created it. We created it. So which method we created?
three methods we can see. One is eat method. Another one is pre-LN method. Another one is main method. What do you think? Which method we create by ourselves? With eat method. Eat method. This is user defined. We create it, right? And Green Ellen is not created by us. By default, the Java has Green Ellen method and we are just using it. Okay. And this main method also, we just check in and it's automatically created. We didn't create it. So the methods we don't create comes with Java by default. These are called built-in method or inbuilt method. Understand? Yeah. And the method we are creating is user-defined method, which is user-defined method. This one. Okay. okay. So right. methods are two types. One is built-in yeah. or inbuilt method. Another one is user-defined method. Now, user-defined method, we can create n number as our project requires, okay? If it is necessary, we can create two methods, 20 methods, 100 methods. You understand? Yeah. Okay, now I can say, boy, drink. Even can drink okay and i say system dot out dot print l n human loves drinking but ignatius don't loves drinking right <laughs> you don't take beer. Okay. So this is user defined or in bit? In builds. In builds? In build. User defined. This is user defined. User defined. This is created by developer by yeah by programmer by us okay now i say there are mainly two types of methods one is in and another one is user defined now you can understand which methods are user defined and which methods are in builds right Yes. I use print Ellen method again here. And this is also user defined or in builds. In builds. This is in build. But this is user defined. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Now look. User defined, we understand. Now look very carefully. User defined method, user defined method can be also two types. What I said, it can be also two types, right? Two types, yeah. One is Static method. Another one is non static method. Now look at it. Is this static method or non static? Is their keyword static? 
Yeah. It's not static. This is user defined, and this is this is non-static because there is no static keyword. There's no static keyword. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Now look at it. Is it static okay. method or non-static? It's non-static. Static or non-static? Because it's static, right? Yeah, this it's is static. It. This is static. Yeah. But this is non-static. Non-static. Now, what are the difference between static method and non-static method? Can you tell me? The difference is uh, uh, static has more power. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Definitely more power than non-static method. Because non-static method cannot be accessed directly from main method we need to create object like it is it is it is static static so it can directly access without the help of human one without creating object but drink method is non-static and it cannot be accessed without creating object you understand because it is static drink is non-static this is static method and it has yeah, more power yeah, more right. power this is powerless okay look drink doesn't have static keyword static. and yeah, it has true. static keyword Okay, now look, drink, when I put static, it has also now power. It can also function without any help of reference variable. Now, if you take out static method, you see, now power gone. Now we need the help of human dot drink, right? Oh yes. Now just take out this static method, static, static keyword, and see it loses special power. Power, power, yes. Now it needs help from new object. Okay, and human one is reference variable to the new object new human now we have to use the power of new object if you don't use static human one dot clear yes so we are practicing same thing but we learn today one more concept it is all about static and non-static okay. clear yes now there will be a lot of questions during the interview on method okay okay first one is what is method in the interview question, interviewer will ask you, what is method? You have to tell the interviewer, the method is nothing but a block of code that only executes when it is called by name. You have to call by name, call by name. If you don't call by name, it will not execute. It will not do anything. Okay. Then he or she will be asking you, how many methods are there? You have to tell there are mainly two types of methods. One is inbuilt, another one is user defined. Then he or she will be asking you what is the difference between inbuilt and user defined? Now you know. Inbuilt is 
come by default with Java programming. It is already there with Java programming. It's a, for example, print Allen method, main method. These are inbuilt method. User defined, we create the method, we the developers, we the software engineers, we the web developers, okay? We the software development engineer in test, we create it. So user defined method is created by the developers and inbuilt methods are by default comes with Java program. Right. Okay. Okay. Now she will be asking you, okay. What is static and non-static method? And then you have to tell static methods comes with special power with static keyword that's directly related to class and it is more powerful than non-static okay and then she will be asking you how you can say it has more power when it is static because when we have static keyword, we don't need to create object. Directly, directly we can access. But when it is non-static, we have to create object and uh, using the reference variable of the object with dot operator, we can access them. Okay. You understand it? So, yeah lot of questions can be asked maybe method only method they can ask you 15 minutes question okay so interview usually goes on 45 minutes okay, okay. so method can be asked for 15 minutes and uh, they will be asking you what is class what is object how do you create object and why do you create object? What is the purpose of creating object? Another 10 minutes, okay? So Java, 25 minutes. Then the rest of the question will be object-oriented program. What is inheritance? Another 10 minutes. And you have now 10 minutes more. They will be asking some more question on automation, okay? Now, okay interviewer emphasizes on concept okay they want to test you whether your concept is clear if you understand programming language they will hire you if you don't if you're confused on concepts they will not hire you because it takes really good time to learn all these concepts it takes time okay yes. it takes time but you can learn once you understand the concepts of programming language well you can quickly learn automation automation can be learned in just one or two weeks but java program it make it requires one month, two months, three months. Okay. So once you understand the logic, the program, it's very quick to understand Selenium with Java. Just two weeks you can learn it. So the interviewer and the IT companies, they hire someone who knows programming well. Okay. Yes. If you don't even no automation they will hire you if you have basic automation or fundamentals of automation tools they will hire you if you have good knowledge in java because they know automation can be taught any tools can be taught within two weeks but they cannot teach you yeah they cannot teach you java program right yeah you have to learn it they will hire you if you know java 
and teach you selenium in just two weeks. Okay? Yes. So they will hire you, but it'll take three, four, five, six months to understand all these concepts. Okay? Okay. Uh, you are following me and understanding the concept easily because I am teaching Java more than 12 years. Uh. I know how to make it understand. But there are a lot of instructors, they might teaching you six months only this concept and you are confusing. What? What the hell he is talking about? You, know? <laughs> you understand me? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Now, create another class and name it teacher okay just click on java basic right button click yes on basic java in the inside the package okay right button click name it yeah uh, class Name it teacher. Yes. And check in public static void me. You see, it is built in oh, method. It is yeah. built in method. You're not creating it. You just check in. Click on finish. Now you have teacher class, right? Yes. Yeah, this is actually nothing. Just telling you, you can use double slash to write uh, any notes. Okay. Just okay. to keep notes for you fellow developers, fellow test engineers. Just you are explaining something. Okay, this is called single line comment. Single line comments. Okay. To comment single line, you use single line comment. And this is called multi line comment. Slash star, then press enter automatically. It will be like this. And this is multi line comments. So if you want to comment more than one line, you use multi-line comments. Clear? Yeah. Okay, yes. Wonderful. Okay. Now, teacher can create N number teacher object right teacher one teacher two teacher three teacher four millions of teacher teacher blueprints meaning teacher class can create n number teachers object okay now teacher object can have two characters one is state Another one is what? Yeah, Behaviors. Yeah. Okay. Now, create some states here and create at least two behaviors here. Can you do it? Yes, states are properties. It can be string, it can be integer. Integer, yeah. Uh, uh, 
as a uh, fields? Yes. It can be attributes, it can be properties, it can be fields. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever teacher object can have, okay, there is states, yeah. properties, attributes, fields. What does teacher can have? Teacher can have a name, teacher can have a salary, teacher can have yeah. age, okay? Yeah, that's good. Create some properties for teacher class. You want me to help you? Oh, oh, oh you, want, you want me to write it? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher, name. Okay, name. Type name. Name will be string or integer. You have to first tell the data types, right? Think name will be string or number. Uh, what do you think? Uh, that would be... If it is confusing, just type name equal to name. Okay, name. Name will be always small cap because okay. variable is always small. Okay. Name. Space, space. Then equal sign. Then space. Then what is the name? Just uh, put name. Any name. Okay. John. John. Okay. John. Okay. Semicolon. Right? Oh, yes. Semicolon. You have to terminate it. Okay. Now, think. Is John a number or string? It is string. String. Then? Before name, you have to type it is string. You have to tell that name is string data type. So okay. you have to mention the data type before the variable. Where? Okay. Where? Here. Where? Here. Right here. Here, right? Here. Here. All right. Yes. So, so type string. 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 Yes. String. Okay. Fantastic. Space. You see? It's now asking, showing you there is error. So how you can fix it? A string name equal to John. Now Java is telling you, hey Ignatius, you make a mistake, fix it. Okay, quotation mark. Yes. Because string always goes inside the quotation mark. mark. Yeah. Variable is not going inside quotation mark, but no. String, string, string is John. John is string, right? John. Yeah. Not name. Oh, okay. Name is variable. Variable, oh, okay. yeah, variable is not string again. Variable is just a container, okay? So, not here. You put, right. Right. 
Quotation mark here, here, here. John. John. Okay. I've got another one. Yes. Yeah, you, you can put single quotation, no problem. You can put single quotation. Okay. That's fine. Single correction not taking. Okay. 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 It's it's need double correction. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now Java says correct. 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 Okay. Now look. John, name always capital. Okay. Uh, when you put single quotation, it says no. So put double quotation. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Now go to second line and Take another variable and choose integer. Integer, okay. Integer is int, yes. Of course. Uh, okay. Uh, five. Five, okay. Zone is five years old. Okay, no problem. Your grand grandson right okay now java is telling you hey ignatius you're making mistake yeah, fix fix it okay okay how you will fix it integer you see after string you put a variable a container and then inside the container you put john so you say you declare it will be integer but you have no container you put it out of container so you have to put here container right okay okay yeah you have to put a quotation yeah. not quotation container okay. i i mean variable so what will be the variable it can be h right H. Yeah, I thought, okay, H. H. Okay. Uh, maybe 37. Okay. 35. Okay. No problem. Just type H. H. Space. Okay. If it is your grandson, then five okay. <laughs> if it is your son then 30 35 okay if john is your your friend then he must be 40 50 years old <laughs> okay five your grandson okay right now now, you can create more variables, more properties, more attributes. The more you need in your project, it depends on how big your project is, right? Yes. So it can have another string. Say, for example, it can have another string. So how you create variable. To create variable, you have to first tell what type of data you are going to store inside the variable, right? I said string, so I say this is designation. Okay, or I can say role. Okay, role, role. Uh, 
its student. Yugen san is student. No. Going okay. to grade one. Say, for example, yeah. Rule is student. Okay. Yes. All right. But we say teacher object will be teacher. This teacher class is creating teacher. So better we say it is 35. Okay. And rule okay. is better we say uh, lecturer. Lecturer. Okay. 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 And this teacher can have also salary, say for example. Salary. Okay. No thing. Salary. salary will be number or string. Salary will be number. Number. So is it will be integer. Okay. I say salary in USD per year is hundred. K. Hundred K. Okay. You understand? Yeah, so this is how to write salary. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sell in USD. Sell hundred K. Okay. Okay. Now you can take string, all string together. So like this. Okay, you can arrange. Okay, it's not allowing me to copy and paste. So string, so sell in USD. Hundred P. Oh, this is integer, not string. Actually, I copy rule, right? Rule. Oh, rule. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah rule. rule is lecturer. Okay. All right. Now, it looks doesn't look good. We can make it a little better. How? I can say int page thirty five and I remove it. Now it looks a little better, right? So yeah. we call it clean clean coding, okay? Always okay. try to put clean, make it more clean. Yeah, and indented also. It is more clean, indented. Okay, now what is behavior? Behavior is method. Now you know how to create method, right? Yes. Okay, create two methods. Method. Okay, write two methods. You can go to human and check how did we create method. Just double click on human. Human, yes, go to human. Okay. Yeah, look how we create method. Okay. okay. Then go back to teacher, double click on teacher. You can also okay. navigate from here. Click on human okay. and okay. teacher. Okay. Back and forth. Okay. 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 
and just click here it will be restored now uh, there is control m if you just click on control m control o m and again control m or control m is not working control m yes M, 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 mother. You see? Okay. Control M, mother. Control M, yes. Again, Control M. Control, you see? So when you want to make it large, just Control M. Control M. Control M. You see? Yes. Okay. When you again press Control M, it will be restored. You see? Control M. Again. M. M. Always M. Okay. So. Yes. Okay. You making the space bigger. Bigger. Okay. Yes. When you want to type long lines, just press Control M. Okay. Oh, okay. So okay. So you yeah. can see more. You can type more, more lines. More. Long okay. lines. Then when you want to run it, then go back to Control M again, and it will make smaller. Yes. Okay. So now you know how to create method, right? Yes. Void, then any verb, then parentheses, then calibrations. So just create two methods here. You can make it static or non-static, no problem. Okay. Static, space, yes. void, V-O-I-D, V, 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 void. Name of the method. Um, dance. Dance, okay. Teacher can dance. Method name always small. Okay, small cap. Small, not capital, remember. Small, right? Small. All small. Then... Okay. Method, method comes with parentheses always. Okay. 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 okay that's why. So okay. it will be a verb, action verb, then parentheses. This so is this is the name position. name of the method. Always. Okay. okay. Then yeah. then calibrations. Press enter. So how do you put this calibration? You type it in or Yes, I type it. Okay, let me let me see what I can I can do it. Okay. Oh, okay. Enter. Okay. Enter. Enter. You see? Okay. This is method. Bring that, bring, bring, okay, bring that one down. Yes. Okay. Then now you can type a uh, statement. Okay. System, uh, system. System, okay. System is always capital. Capital. Because system is a 
inbuilt class. Okay, class is always capital. Remember, yes, system, yeah. and this system, system dot no space. Oh, system dot out out dot yes no space dot print yes yes just press enter enter yes you see okay write something inside print ellen method Can dance. Okay. Pipe it. And you have to write it inside print Allen method. Inside, yeah. What is inside? Inside is here. Okay. What is that? Right there, right? Yeah. And John can dance is string. So you have to have vertical yes okay now you can write john can dance okay is john supposed to be a capital letter or of course, because it is a name. A name, yeah. the name will be always capital. You can put full stop, you can put exclamation sign, no problem. All right. Now create another method. Go out of this method. Go out of this method. Okay. Go out of this scope. Always to create another method. Okay. Go from this scope. This okay. curly braces ends of okay. the scope. Then go down to uh, I I go yeah two lines. You see, okay. I just go one two. Make it more readable, okay? Not okay. more than two spaces again. Okay? Just okay. keep one space in between. One space, okay? Just like this. Okay. Okay. Uh, Treat non static method. Non-static. No. I said non-static meaning no. static, no static keyword. No, no, just yeah. Okay. I think I will try to write a thing. Yeah. It can. Can it be? Uh, oh my God! You know, thing is a oh my behavior. Yeah, behavior. It's behavior. Okay, then parenthesis. Okay, then go out of the parenthesis, then calibrasis. No, 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 calibrasis. Okay. Yes. Now, seeing, you see, before dance, we type void. So you have to put void also. Void, okay. Yeah. 
Yes. You see? Okay. Now you have yes. same method. Okay. Look very carefully how we create method. To create method, okay. we take Y keyword, then um, verb, okay, action verb, then okay. parenthesis, then curly braces. This is method, right? And inside yeah. method, it, it is a block of code, block meaning it has scope. This is a block, okay? okay. It, it has scope, Star, scope starts here with curly braces and scope ends here. We say block of code, meaning there can be just one line of code or 10 lines, 20 lines, 100 lines, depending okay. on the size of the software. Okay. 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 Now you can just, what we do in real world, we just copy, we copy and just we paste. It's not allowing me to paste, why I don't know. Oh, I can. Okay. okay. And just we, what do we do? We just copy, paste, and thus we save time. Okay. Then just write here, John can sing. Just we change one word. Okay. okay. And I can, I can save my time. I can say, John can teach. You see, we copy, paste, copy, paste. 80% we copy and paste and 20% we become creative, okay? Okay. So thus we can save our time. You understand me? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. All right, fantastic. And when you practice, what you can do? You can just copy and put a couple of lines it will look better when you when you practice not in the real project okay you can just do it you can just copy just play with it try to enjoy it i know ignatius after three months you cannot sleep without coding. Uh, if you practice nice. every yes. single day, uh, one or two uh, hours, if you practice every single day, two hours, after three months, if you want to quit, you cannot. You will miss it. Yes. You will think, ah, oh my God, what I'm not doing today. Hmm? <laughs> It I happens. Come to that stage. Yeah. I start programming um, in 2007. Mm. I came to Drexel University in 2007 and uh, I had a subject on computer. It was integration of information and technology into the classroom how we can create web pages using front end technologies and put the contents articles photos videos on a page and use the web page in, inside the classroom make it colorful make students more engaging interesting and you know to make yeah. Now, after I code six months, I couldn't quit. I couldn't quit. I didn't want to learn it, but after six months, and since then, I'm coding, 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 programming, programming, programming. And the more I program, the more I love. I fell in love. Okay. Yeah, I, I learned 
something new all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now nothing happens. Why? Because in definition we say method is a block of code that only executes when it is called by name you have to call by name say for example this is static if it is static you can call this method directly right okay. just copy this method so remember the definition of method method is a block of code that only runs or execute when it is called by name. By name. You have to. So what is called by name? What do you actually mean? You have to actually say. Oh. Yeah. When I say call by name, you see, we are not calling the method. If you run it, oh. you see, okay. nothing happens because you didn't. Oh call method suppose okay. suppose there are 10 people your grandchildren 10 grandchildren john ron ton johnny right, right. okay oh, yeah they have different names if you don't call by name if you just say bring me my laptop now your 10 grandsons they will look at you but no nobody will respond yes because uh, no, no name was mentioned no name was mentioned same way method you have to mention by name you have to tell a method to do something you see now i say teach method i mention by name Inside main method, I mention teach method, and now look what happens. You have to call. So I am calling by name teach method. Do something, and John can teach. Now go back and see teach method as John can teach. How many times? Twice. Okay, just copy. You can paste it and you see four times now just tell John John can teach John can teach four times you didn't call scene method and it's doing nothing, right? Only teach method is responding. Now, if you want to call also sing. I have to highlight. Okay. So, so, what we can do, you want to call sing method also. How you can call it? You have to call by name. You have to call by name. But this sing method is not allowing us to access it. Why? Because teach is static, but sing is not static. You see, this is static, but this is non-static. Okay. To call it, we have to make it static. Either we have to make it static, or we have to create object. Understand it? Yeah. If it is non-static, you have to create object. Then, using the reference variable, with dot operator, you can access them. Clear? Okay. 
No, suppose this is not static. This is not static. This is also not static. So this is also not static. So what do we have to do? We have to create object, right? Yes. Now you know how to create object. Do you know how to create object? So create object here. How object is created? Let me show you. New. Okay. This is teacher class, right? Yeah. Look, teacher. This is new object, you see? When I just type okay. new keyword and teacher parenthesis, then semicolon, no red mark. Okay? okay. So new object is created with new keyword, then just name of the class, teacher, then parenthesis, then semicolon. New object is created. Now, from where we are creating this new teacher object, we are creating it from teacher class. And we need the reference variable. It can be variable meaning it can be varied, varied. It can be different. So it can be T1, it can be teacher1, it can be TE1, still it will work. So it can be variable, okay? And this variable refer to the new object. That is why it is called reference variable because it is referring to new object. And this new object created from teacher class. Where is teacher class coming from? Teacher class is coming from this teacher class you understand and this teacher class has scope starts here and it ends here okay okay understand it right now teacher one to access it we need teacher one reference variable teacher one and dot right now you can access it and then go teacher one dot okay but we have another method that does we can make static and static method don't need reference variable it doesn't need reference variable you see okay because it is static so static yeah. static it can stand on its own yeah it has special power and from this teacher class you want to create another object just copy it Okay, just paste here. Same way you can create n number object. Okay, now just copy. I can type teacher, then teacher two. Okay, you see reference variable is different right one two okay. but object look like same okay now again you want to create another object just copy what is paste Okay, 
Now just change it three. Okay. You can create more, 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 more. And just change four. So thus you can create n number object. Now you might be thinking, you said new object. New teacher is new object. This is also new teacher. This is also new object. Why it looked like same? Yes, look like same, but they are not same. You want a proof? I can prove it. How? Let me show you. System dot. When I put system and dot, you see. I can access all the methods and properties Java programming uh, does do does have. Java programming does have inbuilt method and properties. These are inbuilt. Inbuilt. It comes with Java. You see? We 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 are not we didn't create it. This system is a class. When I just Put system dot I can access I want out I just double click here it goes then prints Ellen you see print Ellen and I just press enter okay and I say the new object look like same four new objects are same i say they are not same how i can prove it look very carefully sorry look very carefully teacher one okay i just type Teacher two. Teacher three. Teacher four. Right? Now print it. I said they are not same, but it looked like same, right? Teacher, you see? teacher new teacher new teacher but look they are not same you see java, java basic is your package name then dot teacher is your class class name at the rate and look at the numbers are they same are they same no they are not because these objects are though look like same they are not same what you are Seeing is not inside of it. Okay, you look, it's different. So it has stored in your computer memory in different path, different path, different path, different, different. Okay, whenever, when you are creating another object, Though it look like same, but in practical, it is not. They are not the same. You see, by and you print this one. Not same. It will be different one. Clear. So these are the small small concepts but it will help you to develop the whole concept and you can apply it later okay okay so just practice it i recorded it i will send okay. you the video okay, just nice. code okay every day one two hours And after okay. a month, all concept will be clear and it will help you to understand automation better. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Any question? Uh, no question right now. Okay. That's so fine. In class, yeah. Okay, Ignatius, you are sharp. Uh, you understand very quickly. And, de and definitely, yeah. you will forget very quickly. I know. <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> so that you don't forget, you have to practice. Right. Okay? Yeah. Practice. Right. Today, you learn okay. Control yeah. M, Control M, Control M, and Control M. Okay, control M, shortcut key. M, 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 both are M. M. Okay, okay. It is. Yeah, it is control plus M. M, then the British plus. Yeah, both are same. Control M. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Control M. Control M. Yeah, both are M. Okay, okay. Control M, Control M. Okay. Okay. Control M. And Control M. Okay. Then to make it bigger, Control Plus. This is um, control plus, control minus. Press control plus, control plus. You want me to do it? Yeah. Control plus. Oh. Control plus, yes. I said control plus sign. Press control. Oh, plus. Plus. Okay. Plus. Okay. Okay. We're doing yeah. Control plus. One more plus. Control plus. Okay. It's making bigger, right? Yeah. And control minus will make smaller. Make it smaller. Control minus. Control minus. Control minus. Control. Okay. Minus. Okay. All right. So that's all for today. Okay. Okay. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Have a tomorrow. good night. Okay. Good night. Yeah. Tomorrow, Rudy has class. You can join. No problem. Okay. All right. Tomorrow supposed to be my class. So Wednesday. Wednesday is your class. Monday, Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday. Rudy's? Or Rudy yeah. is Tuesday. Tuesday, but I don't know. He didn't show up today. Uh, actually, what, what is the day today? Today is Tuesday, right? Today is Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday, he does have a program in his charge, I think. Oh, okay. So you so choose. You, you tomorrow with me. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, good night. Good night. Take care.